We're ready for step two of processing photographs for laser engraving. If you haven't seen step one, see that video first, where we took this relatively typical photograph and knocked out the background in photo paint. I'm going to jump over now to photo paint and show you that I took that photograph, mask it off so that the area in red here is mask and the area in the background is not mask. I'm going to illustrate, I'm going to reverse that. Now this is the selected and this is mask. If under some circumstances, we just want to engrave this on anodized aluminum or maybe laser black or alumamark. All three of those don't need further processing. We're ready to just take that without the background. So just to review, I'm going to click on object, create, object, cut selection, and then I'm going to delete the background. And then I'm going to copy that, edit and copy. We'll jump now, switch to Corel Draw, maybe a blank page, and we'll edit and paste. And there you see that that comes in, reminding you that I like to work with the yellow background on my page so I can see whether or not the white box is there. But just by copying and pasting that in, that's ready to go on Alumamark or Laser Black. And if we're going to go anodized aluminum, we'll be putting white dots on black material. So we would need to invert that. So trans effects, transform, invert. There's ready for anodized aluminum. However, what we're doing in this project is illustrating that unless it's those materials, these photographs need to be processed. If we're doing marble, acrylic, glass, wood, Many of us recommend using a third-party photo processing software like PhotoLaser Plus, PhotoGrave, OneTouch. All of those basically do the same thing, but we need to further process those. And if we just copy that over to PhotoLaser Plus, we'll edit and paste. Notice that it comes in with the background uh, that background was not there in Corel Raw, but it will be in Photograve and or Photolaser Plus. So that's unacceptable. So we're going to go back to Corel Photo Paint. We're going to undo this a few steps back to where we have our mask object, that is the background knocked out. And I'm going to invert that to where our couple here is protected and this is selected. So that let's plan on doing black marble. Therefore, I need, when I invert it, I need to have that white. But before I invert it, therefore, it must be black. You want to call your attention right now, I have a green fill. I'm going to right click on black. That sets my fill to black. Then I can take my fill tool and click out here. And now all of that background is black. Indeed, we need a white background. For instance, for wood, we would fill that with white. So I right click on white. Now notice here, and then I will fill that area with my paint can. There it is white, but I'm going to undo that. Then I'm going to shut this completely down. And when I shut it down, it lasts. Do I want to save it? And I'm going to say yes. So back in CorelDRAW, what that should do then is paste that in to our part here. Now we can select that, copy it, edit and copy. Then we'll switch over to PhotoGrave or PhotoLaser Plus. We'll delete this one. 
and paste in our new one and tell it to put that in the center of the page and we'll use photo laser plus to process that would be transform photo laser we're going to tell it to select from a group of materials and I want black marble and there it has processed it I'll tell it I do not want that original any longer and we'll tell it okay that will throw back out into the photo laser plus screen our processed photograph ready for laser engraving black marble I can just save that a file and open it up in Corel Raw so here's where we started and um, here is what photo laser plus generates for marble here's what it generates for granite so you can get an idea now, on granite needs a little more black as you can see there and in this case I put a vignette on it we'll jump back to Corel draw and show you how we put the vignette on that part we have to go back where we have the RGB, the color photograph. And here we're going to select the part and go to bitmaps, creative, vignette. Then we'll drag that off to the side where we can see what we're doing. And let's tell it to preview that. That's probably a little too much, so I'm going to move the offset out. Tell it to preview that. And I'd like to brighten it up just a little. So we'll preview that. Ah, I like that. Now notice it just softens these edges, especially along it where we don't have that square bottom on that. We'll tell it OK. Then we can go through the same process. We'll edit and copy that. We'll switch over to Photo Laser Plus and edit and paste. And we'll process that. Transform, Photo Laser, Interactive, We'll confirm that it still has black marble selected. Now it didn't. So marble, we want to invert it. We'll open, goes through the process. And there we have the same basic thing, except with that vignette on it. Ready to save that as a file. File, export image. Let's call that a bitmap. We'll call that vignette ready to be opened and processed in Corel Draw. Project complete.